it was awful even just thinking about it now like clearly it's not something that i particularly really want to talk about i was trying to find a balance between keeping informed and like information overload hi guys welcome to my channel <clears throat> it's been a little while i know i know it's it's oh god i'm turning into one of those typical youtubers sorry i've been away for a long while but no seriously um I know I haven't posted a, a, a video in nearly a month now, which I think in YouTube world is like 10 years, but um, for good reason. In this video, I'm gonna be talking about stress and how I have been working through stress. There's been a number of things happening, um, COVID, um, I've talked about my wedding being postponed, work, I talked about in my past video being followed and there's some updates to give on that and of course I can't do this video without talking about um, the murder of George Floyd and the uh, Black Lives Matter movement I don't want this to be a very heavy video I'm going to try and balance out facts and be sensitive to what's been going on but at the same time try and put some sort of positive spin on things and talk to you a bit about how I've been dealing with stuff and hopefully that should be able to help you too. Before I get into this video I want to give a shout out to Zeri Fashion House for this beautiful top. It's not sponsored, it could be. <laughs> I bought this top from Zeri Fashion House. It's, they're a company that sell um, Nigerian designers, or I think just African, not just Nigerian, I'm not sure. But Nigerian designers, um, and you can get their clothes in the UK. So I got this top a couple of years ago, or maybe it was last year. It's very pretty, it's a wrap top. And it just so happens to be the founder's birthday. So happy birthday, Torsten. <laughs> and my cute earrings are a gift from my fabulous friend Fiola, who's also a brilliant, brilliant source of support during this time. Those are the two shout outs I wanted to do in this video. Let's get into it. Um, I think the beginning of like stress <laughs> or chronic stress was obviously coronavirus, everything being put on hold, social distancing, not being able to travel, all of that stuff. and. I think initially I was quite cool with it. I'm a homebody. The only thing I particularly missed was maybe see my friends, but I, I do a lot of FaceTimes and stuff, uh, FaceTiming and maybe traveling, but I don't, tr well, actually I do, I travel every week. <laughs> but um, I think initially the first shock to the system was COVID and then work, work was the other thing. So I know that I previously said that I was being followed upon like internal discussions and whatnot that got scrapped which is brilliant i was meant to it wasn't meant to take effect until next month anyway so i still would have been working in this time but because i'm new to the company i've also i've also got the added pressure of i want to impress i want to do well i want to progress i'm a bit of a perfectionist so if i get like stuff back and i need to fix this or that i kind of feel like oh damn it you know i should have done that or some of the things i mean i don't know i don't know you know it's a learning experience but i think some some i put i know that i put pressure on myself it did start to really weigh on me and then to top it all off um was the murder of george floyd i to this day have not watched that video i don't think i ever will i don't know if it's still in circulation i'm sure it probably is but um It was awful it, it, it was awful to know what happened it was awful to um, I'm, I mean it was even just thinking about it now like clearly it's not something that I particularly really want to talk about in that time or during those few weeks um, after it happened I was trying to find a balance between keeping informed and like information overload and so the point of this video like I said was not to go over 
all the details but actually to talk about the ways in which I have been dealing with things and the plan is to be positive in light of all the negativity. Um, number one, I would pray. When I've said a few prayers here and there and it's not like a sit down, put my two palms together and pray, it's just been like simple words like God, I don't know how I'm going to do this, I'm stressed out. Um, sometimes it's just even from a place of exasperation. So um, yesterday I had had it up to here, in fact above my afro, <laughs> up to here with like all the demands and stuff that was going on and I started to panic, I started to have like, like I just started to be like, oh my god, how am I going to get this done, when am I going to, time's running out, I'm behind schedule and I would just, and somehow one meeting at work would get cancelled, another meeting at work would get postponed and things just started to happen that gave me more time to complete my deliverables and get them out the door and manage my time a bit better. The other thing with work was just speak to people if you're having difficulties in managing the workload or if you um are not even sure about your performance speak to someone yesterday when it was all getting a bit manic for me um i have a colleague who's quite senior i've never had this kind of relationship with someone at work before where you have a mentor and they're able to say you know what joe do this or don't do that or you know don't worry about that you don't need to do that for now or um, no 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 you're doing just fine it's fine like you know just basically give me context and direction that's really been helpful to realize that I'm not I'm not going nuts like just relax <laughs> relax relax you got this so in terms of social media sometimes I'd feel like okay 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 okay, okay. <sighs> dial it back a bit let me take a step back and then I would go onto pages like um, the dodo, which I like animal Instagram. I like watching like cats on Instagram and I like watching like random pets and stuff. So the dodo was one of the pages that I would go on and I'd watch really cute dogs being rescued or um, I don't know, birds being looked after. <laughs> random stuff if you don't know about them check out the dodo it's 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 a animal positivity channel like yeah i would go on there and i would watch videos and stuff they were also supporting the black lives matter which i really appreciated seeing that and i thought yes i know i follow you guys for a reason and with regards to black lives matter initially i think i was quite sugar happy and i was like look at this and look at this and look at that and that's gone wrong and this person did this and this person was racially profiled and this person was like um um subject to police brutality and i again trying to find a balance between raising awareness but also not just being a generator of a barrage of um negative news but it also needs to be shared. Do you know what I mean? I don't know. It's This is a really different video, but I think it's necessary for the times that we're in. I also try to share positive things. For example, when the, the statue in Bristol got toppled. <laughs> Best believe I was sharing that. <laughs> Another thing that's quite particular to my personality type is just realizing that I can't fix everything. If you've ever done the Myers-Briggs personality type test, I am the ESTJ type. So I want to be in control of everything. I want to know what's going on. I want to have a solution to everything. I want to have a plan for everything. I want to just like go, go, go. That's my personality. And so this time has also been Part of a learning process where I'm just like you know what you can't control everything you can do the ones that you can and the things that I could do was share a bit more positive news um, talk to people if I'm having difficulties at work or, or generally in life talk to my friends um, I know that I had a few really deep conversations with my friends who were going through the same thing and just being able to share the fact that oh, man it's hard out here <laughs> struggling to keep ish together mentally speaking and in that way just being able to communicate what you're going through hear other people and also sometimes just talk about something that's completely unrelated so i just wanted to do this video and talk to you a bit more candidly about um what's been going on how i've been dealing with it 
um, I'd be interested to know about how other people are coping with stuff. I really hope that there's more positive news that's coming in the in the next few days. I think it's really important that in this time we don't kind of self-isolate mentally, even if we're doing it physically. <laughs> anyway on that note i just want to say thank you very much for sticking with this channel thank you for liking subscribing thank you for sharing i'm saying all these things in advance because i know that you will <laughs> until next time take care bye